folks, Jenner and Morgan here, and looking tonight at the Lava Tank from Lava Corpse, or you may know him on the ECF as John Boy USMC. He takes uh, acrylic blocks that are made to look like uh, stone with sometimes unnatural colors, like this very vibrant uh, purple and green, and turns them on a lathe into cardamizer tanks. So you basically get the bottom piece, which is uh, the turned acrylic. And then he also turns the top so that you get the top cap and the mouthpiece are all one piece. Very nice. And then it's just a acrylic tube and the cardamizer on the inside. Now it's using standard bow size uh, cardamizers, um, not the dual coils. Um, but that being said, it's beautiful. Um, you can get them in an amazing assortment of colors and finishes and he'll do a, a Ming style vase top and some different kinds of mouthpieces and uh, if you follow his thread on the ECF it's a little difficult. Um, I also will put a link here to their International Vapors Club forum. You basically have to watch the thread. He will post what uh, finished ones and different colors he has up for sale and then you have to try to get in and email him with your first, second, and third choice. You can also go on a waiting list which is what I did so I didn't have to dog that uh, thread. And then when a set comes up, they tell you when it's your turn, and you can go ahead and order one. Um, I think I got my first choice, which is just a perfect match for my silver bullet. Works like a normal good Bose card miser. I have an LR one on there, 2.0 uh, on a standard 3.7 volt battery. Um, you could probably put a standard resistance or a 3.0 ohm card in there and use it on high voltage too. Should work fine. Let's take a close look. So this is a John Boy lava tank from Lava Corpse. What he does is he takes uh, an acrylic stone-like material. It's made to mimic stone um, in usually unnatural colors like this beautiful purple and green. Um, and then he turns it on a lathe to get that shape. It comes with a Bose standard. Well, this one's an LR carmizer. It takes standards too. A couple of extra O-rings. And now this has all been turned on a lathe to get a top cap that is both the top cap and the mouthpiece. First thing we do to set it together is I go up and fill the cardamizer. I give it a couple of shakes from the top with the condom still on the bottom. Load up a couple more drops until there's, a, you know, a bit in there. Basically a filled cardo. Then I go ahead and I slide the tank itself and the bottom cap onto the cardo. I'm going to go ahead and get our bottle of juice. And this one works fairly simply. I'm just going to fill between the tube and the cardo pretty much all the way up to the top. And I got a little too close for the macro to focus here. But you can pretty much fill it almost to the tippy top of the cardamizer there. Pretty close. It's got to leave a little room for the top cap. Then you take the top cap and you just push it on so that the O-rings hit the tube. And then they tell you to roll it so that the air bubble is over the hole in the cardamizer. Poof! And then pop it in. And that is an assembled John Boy beautifully turned gorgeous purple and green lava tank. Now it looks nice on my purple BB. However, it matches my purple silver bullet exactly. Now there's a match made in heaven. So that's the lava tank. Um, if you're in the market for something different, um, something really pretty, something that comes in some amazing colors and styles to match your mods, I'd give uh, his thread a look. I'll post the link again. Um, lava tank. Uh, it's very nice. Um, I recommend them. And I think you could also, if you got the uh, tubing from like a, a, a map tank or so, they should be able to sell the extra tubing that would let you put a dual coil in there. And as I mentioned before, you can put a higher resistance cardamizer in there and it should work at uh, higher voltage. Lava tanks. Um, they are beautiful, one-of-kind tanks. Um, well worth the weight and effort to try to get one.